Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how can you activate the old post mod in the latest build or in the latest demo. So this is actually a tutorial with no required skill of coding at all. If you follow the tutorial correctly, which means you're no absolutely issue about it, you are good buckle. If you're familiar with the inspired this is actually a program that you need for this tutorial. Now I'm not going to show you guys how to, you can get this. Uh, the Inspire, uh, absolutely there's a lot of tutorials on YouTube right now, so you absolutely go ahead and uh, watch it and download it from that. Th in this video, I only focus how the, can you activate the code, so, uh, how can you activate the old post mode itself. So, the first thing first is the file, Do you need a file. So, I hope that you already have this file over here, so the old post mode file. Uh, if you don't have link in the description, uh, you absolutely can use the latest version because I fixed uh, some of the bugs, some of the bugs inside this uh, file over or uh, file over here. But uh, yeah, make sure that you have the latest version of it. So like I said, you need this one, the old post mod thingy, and then what you're gonna do if you have this already? The only thing now is just like go into the game. So I have a game over here. So let's just say that this is the latest version. I, I don't have any post mod yet inside this. So let's just go to uh, gender simulator uh, data uh, and go to manage and drag this in over here. So I already have this in my folder over here. So I'm going to click replace. It doesn't matter. Uh, if you don't have, it's not going to show you that window. So it doesn't matter. So what you're going to do, you already have this and make sure that you kind of open D and spike. Now I'm gonna delete all of these things. I, you already installed in the Inspite, so so I'm gonna go ahead and small this thing for a bit because I know that you guys cannot see it properly. Now what you're gonna do next is you can see the empty window over here. What you're gonna do is just like go ahead, and go to your game folder that you want to activate. So this is uh, uh seven April, uh twenty twenty. So which means this is the latest uh, version of the Yandex Simulator. So I want to activate Postmod uh on it. So what you're gonna do is just like navigate to the manager again. If you're already in there, it doesn't matter. So, what you're gonna do is uh, looking for assembling C sharp DLL dot DLL over here. Drag it in this window over here. It will show you this layout over here. So now what you're gonna do is just like cl click on the arrow over here, assembling file, and then assembling file again. Assembling DLL over here. Just click on it and make sure this click on dot over here. So it will show you the entire script about the game, how it functions and how it goes. I'm not going to show you how, what is this function or not, it doesn't matter. So what you're going to do, you have to navigate and drag down and until you find Yandex script over here. What you're going to do is click on it, Yandex script, make, remember this Yandex script. So it will show you the start function over here. So we need to know about start function, what the fact is this. So it doesn't matter. What you're going to do is just like click over here. And cl uh, right click, click on this window over here, right click, and then click on edit method, C sharp. So click on edit method. You absolutely can go with class, but I'm not going to recommend you guys do that. It's really dumb. Uh, what you're going to do is just like when you see the window over here, the window will still pop up over here. And what you're going to do is just like simple. You click on this button over here, down here, over here, folder, like the arrow pointing out uh, of it click on it so make sure the window will pop up over here right so what you can do is ha you have to navigate to uh, the files the game files over here so this is actually April so which means in the folder of the the, the the game the latest game that I want to activate I in this folder right now so make sure you navigate inside the game itself and find the file and find the file uh, and find the old post mod files that you already put it in, which means it's in uh, Yandex Simulator data managed. You are you put it managed. You have to put it in managed in order to it to uh, recognize what's the file it's gonna use. So what I'm gonna do is just like navigate and click on the post mod over here, the file post mod post mod over here, the old post mod over here, and then click on it and then open it. So what you're gonna do next is just like you press dot over here. And press Yan and then start. Yan start. That's what it is. So which means you have to open open this and close this back. And then press this one. Quotation mark. So what you're gonna do is just pre press compile, press compile, and then it will go and do this. You will see that. And make sure you press 
control shift and s control shift s which means you have to save this first in order to in order to do another one so press ok over here so i'm saving right now so navigate inside this uh and then try to find set uniform so what you're gonna do is just like click on it click on the set uniform over here and then press right click on it it will show this window over here and then just press uh edit method so what you're gonna do is just like go into access over here and make it public again so what you're gonna do is just press save again like i said shift uh control shift s to save this again so what are you gonna do now i want you to close this d and spike so just close it and then reopen it back when you reopen when you reopen it back everything that you will close is still in here it's still in here it will show you it's still in here so it doesn't matter just close it and then you have to navigate to another class and find it find another class over here it's called welcome script so what you're gonna do is just like click on it and then uh, press uh right click on it and then go to edit method again what you're gonna do is just like you have to press down over here and then say game hook now if you don't close the spike like i said before if you don't close it it doesn't know that uh, this exists, or this actually exists in the uh, the, the assembling file. What you're gonna do next is just like press a dot over here, and then press the game hook. So I'm gonna type it, and then close this, and close this back. Uh, open it and close it back. And don't forget this one. But make sure you don't forget this one. Is that is it? That's it for the line of codes. That's pretty much it. It's just press compile, and that's it. That's it. And what are you going to do now? Just like save this again. What I want you to do now is close this again and reopen it back. Go into another class call. So you have to know, call a student. So student managers, student manager script. Make sure you uh, go ahead and find this student manager script because this is going to be a lot of errors. Uh, DSpice has a lot of errors for it. So that's why I need you to close it and or reopen it back. So what you're gonna do is just like go ahead and do this and find the open this and it will show this and then find the uh, attempt class. So what you're gonna do, make sure that you will find the attempt class over here. Uh, this is another method. So what you're gonna, I want you to do now is find this one, this line of code over here. I want you to find this line of code over here. So what you're gonna do, go ahead and edit uh, method over here. Find this line of code over here. And then what you're going to do is just like write the, write the code again. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go to navigate down again and then try to find sport club over here. Type sport club over here. Club type dot sport over here. I want you to find it. And then what you're going to do is just press N again. And then what you're going to do is just like press uh, this dot ID again. It's not equal to... Uh, 15 and then what you're gonna do is compile this that is pretty much it so what you're gonna do you will see the line of code is gonna add over here and then I want you to save this again make sure you save it and then what you're gonna do is just navigate down again and try to find spawn student so I will show you there is spawn student the method the method called spawn student over here so you can make sure you navigate inside that this is really important so this is actually how to activate your rivals so what you're gonna do is just like click on the edit method over here and make sure that you delete this delete this line of code over here which means it is allow you to activate all the rivals erase this line of codes over here i want you to erase this line of code that's pretty much it that is it so which means now you can now you have rivals inside your game so you press compile over here and then what you're gonna do is just like save all right, just save it. Every time you are done with it, just save it. So what I'm gonna do is just close it and then navigate to another one, another um, class, and it's called Pray Script. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to find P over here. Where is it? P Pray Script over here. I want you to navigate. I want you to find this and then click on it and we show you this. So this is a really interesting things that uh, I want you to do. So what you're going to do is click on, right click on it, and then go to add, go to add class member. Go to add class members. That's what I want you to do. Just go ahead and add this. So this is really important. You cannot, you cannot say 
public. If you say public, the game will crash. Make sure you do it in private. Uh, I'm going to say private. So I'm going to say private. And then I'm going to say uh, G, uh, KG, uh, then this, save minus. And then what you're going to do is just like said post mod, uh, post mod, post mod over here. No E, post mod, okay? This is post mod. So what you're gonna do if you already like this and you're gonna give the name. So you can give the name whatever you want, but I'm gonna go ahead and KG instead because this is actually a name. You can name whatever you want. It's just like you can name yourself, you can name whatever you want, it doesn't matter. So this and don't forget this one over here. So make sure you don't forget it. So what you're gonna do is just like press compile over here and then what you're gonna do is just like uh, go ahead and click on this. Make sure that you click on this start method over here. And then go ahead and press this one. Uh, and press the right mouse button. And then click edit method. Edit method. <laughs> edit method. That's what I want to click. So what you're gonna do is just like you have to add this. You have to add this line of code over here. So I'm gonna say this dot. Uh, KG, so which means your name. Your, what what do you name your property over there? Just put it in here, all right? This dot whatever you name it, and then just say it equal, all right? So equal to uh, Unity Engine. So Unity Engine, all right? Dot object, all right? So I'm gonna press Enter over here because it's already showed that object dot uh, find object type so find object typed over here what you're gonna do is just like open this and then typing the kg dot uh, this one and then post mod all right so close this back and then open this and close this back and then just press compile and then save it again. Make sure you save it or otherwise it's not going to work. When you go ahead to another step over here. So another step is just like go ahead and find this line of code over here. So go ahead and find else over here. Else and then uh, this dot pray window uh, dot locate lo local scale. This one over here. This line of code over here. And then click behind it. Click behind the line of it. And then press this one and press edit method. All right, press right mouse and press edit method. What you're gonna do is just like click right over here and then press enter. And then you're gonna say it if open this one and then say it this one and this one. All right, so what you're gonna do is you have to press that and then dot uh, kg, whatever you name it, whatever you name your property, and then. Uh, gonna say dot again and then post mod post mode not post mod post mode uh, and then close this back and then open this one open a bracket whatever it is uh, and then go ahead and scroll down over here and click one app one one of this it doesn't matter one of this make sure that is below this one make sure it's below it and then just close this back, all right? Just add this another sign over here, just close it, all right? Which means it close. So press compile over here, and then you're good to go. So like I said, all of this is just like make the arrow uh, inside uh, old postmod working properly. And this is really important step also. So you can see the exit method over here. What you're gonna do is just like right click on it, and then uh, edit this edit method, click on edit method, and then make it public again. So also highlight make it public again. Like I said, it makes the arrow working properly. If you don't do that, it's not working properly. Make sure you have to make this uh, exit uh, method and update highlight public. Before it's private, now it's public. That's what I want you to do. And then save this, okay? And what you're gonna do next is navigate to the old post mod, uh, to post mod script over here. Post mod script. Remember post mod script. So I want you to navigate inside that and then you need to write a code. You need to write a code again. So it's what it is. It's just like go and find the exit over here. Exit method. Edit method. And then click on public. That's it. And also highlight. Also doing the same for highlights. You make sure that it's public. In order in order to 
in order for old post mod to use it. All right, the old post mod require you to use it. Required to use. Uh, require. It's re. It. It's one to use it. Okay, that's what it is. So what are you gonna do if you done this? Go ahead and find another class, and it calls post screen. So if I here post screen script script post screen script. So what I want you to do is just like go to update session over here, and then press edit method. Make sure it's make make it to public again, and that is pretty much it for this uh, P over here. So the last the last two class I want you to navigate is just like go ahead and way up there and find door script. I want you to find door script. So door scripts must be around here somewhere. If I'm not mistaken. There, there it is. Door script. What you're gonna do is just like lock door over here. Go ahead and find lock door over here and right click on it. And then uh, just edit method. And then public again. Make it public uh, to make sure it's high, hide the button. Like the script is over here. It's just say open, false, which means it closed door. It locks the door, which means you cannot open it. It doesn't matter. Nobody actually use it, but it require you. <laughs> it requires, so which means it doesn't matter. So what you get, the last script that I want you to the last class that I want you to do is just like go ahead and find uh what is called uh it's con here cosmic I want you to find cos caustic cosmetic it's cosmetic <laughs> I hope you had to pronounce this name correct uh I'm so bad at English so that's fine uh and I want you to find this script over here and then what you're gonna do is just like go ahead and press click on over here and press uh control F and then what you're gonna do the window will open over here so what you're gonna do you're gonna type you're gonna click on it and then type black dot black that's what I want you to do all right so what you're gonna do is just like navigate inside this navigate inside this you will see if and until this close over here close bracket right close curly bracket that's what it is I just don't know but just go ahead and click on just click on this one uh, in this one and click on edit method and then I want you to delete this I want you to delete this all right I want you to delete this and make sure that you drag everything in here and then just backspace this and you are done just press compile and then that is it that's how you activate the old post mod so now I'm in the game right now, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna press continue, and again I'm gonna press L. If it, if it works, if it works on the welcome screen over there, you press L, it we do that, which means all Pokemon is already activated. Okay, so I think I'm in ABC Killer Challenge, but it doesn't matter. So you actually can do this, press X, and then you will see it working parallel. You can absolutely do this. I hope I hope you understand this. All right, so this is absolutely a really weird video for me. Uh, like I said, this is a gaming channel, not a tutorial channel. Um, so I hope you understand this, and please have fun with this mod. You absolutely can activate it by yourself now. So I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.